an underground podcast that is hidden between other hundreds of thousands of other crappy underground podcasts. Welcome, everybody. How's that for an intro? It's Friday night here. Just got back doing a live stream in the city. I was getting dirty looks from people. I realized this world's filled with nothing but simps and cunts, folks. That's who's running the world right now. Simps and cunts. Um, I'm going back to the uh, audio only version. I know some of you don't like that because you can't see the public freakouts, but try to find the titles and play along at home. It's not hard work, but I guess if you're watching this on a phone, it is. But hey, listen, this show, as I said before, it's, well, you know, it's okay. Well, we got five public freakout clips to get to. Next week is going to be the last open mic at this Afghanistan restaurant. Uh, I've been going to do comedy the last two or three months. It's been pretty dead there. It's been like five or six comics, no audience, but... Next week, uh, try to. You know, I think they're going to film the sets there. So, try to write a good set out. And then tomorrow night is Willie Fritz's birthday. So, we'll be hanging out at the cabaret. We're going to try to do a live stream before that. But nonetheless, there's not much else going on. So, let's get to these public freakouts. The first one is titled Black Woman Defends Older White Man After Another Woman Calls Him a Racist Slur. And the woman who called him a racist slur, by the way, was not a black woman. She was some sort of a spiggy. You know what I mean? But we're not going to play the whole thing. This is three minutes long. Let's just play it, though. So, someone's recording this. This is in JetBlue uh, air tunnel. JetBlue has fucked all of us tonight. He's filming everybody, this guy. He's filming the, uh, old people, young people, so it's everybody. Look, look. So, I don't know what happened, but apparently this old white guy... Because I ain't the fucking one. She calls him. She calls him Denny. Now, once again, she is not black. Actually, she's. I don't know what she is. She's got to be a, a, a speaky, like I said. But I don't know what she is. Cracker. And she calls him a cracker. Now, once again, white people don't usually care. There's no word you can really call white people. I guess the only word you can call white people to get them riled up is racist, and that's if they're liberal. But uh, she said cracker. She didn't say cracker. She didn't say the hardy R. But uh, this black woman's going to defend her, which I don't know why. Defend him. But let's get to this. She called him a cracker. Jack Blue Rage. He's the same size as that I don't give a fuck. Exactly. Or he can say whatever the fuck you want to say. He ain't. 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 She's on her side. She takes off her backpack. She's ready to fight. What the hell's going on here, folks? First of all, Hispanic people are not really real people. They're made of uh, white, Indian, black, and shit. We got 15 kids, so shut the fuck up, She says, we got 15 kids. Of course you do. You're Hispanic. That's uh, that's probably just the uh, first batch you've made. She's got big giant tits. I got I gotta be honest though, her tits are kind of good though. I hate to say that. She says she's a pig of a person, but she's got nice piggy tits. Fuck off! You running your mouth? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You don't even know why you're speaking and you running your mouth. So she got backup. Usually the blacks have to back up. This time. The uh, let's fast forward this a little bit. I'm gonna play the whole thing. Still going on. Shut okay, I can imagine this goes on and on. So we're gonna skip this one. This next one, this is more of a visual. Woman spits on a cop and receives immediate consequences. Uh, this woman made a mistake spitting on a white cop. She also looks like a spicky. And uh, this cop, man, he slams her ass. This is great. So let's see. This is in some sort of train station or somewhere. She's pacing back and forth. She's flashing her tickets to the guy's face. And here it is, guys. She's going to try to spit and run. So. She's got no shoes on, which automatically makes her a ratchet hoe. Ooh, she spits on him and tries to run away. And this... Big fat white guy cop grabs the bitch by her hair, slams her down the ground, and puts his knee on her butt. 
Kind of like the George Floyd thing, except on our butt. He just George Floyd at that ass. Uh, this next one is kind of a simp thing. Um, dude gets confronted for cat calling a woman at a stoplight. So, I have two things to say about this before you play the clip. One, I think cat calling is for pussies. Um, you know, if you have, if you want to approach a girl, do what I used to do. Go run up and creep them out to their face. Cat calling is something you do in front of your friends when you're a little boy. It's for boys, it's not for men. It could be fun and stuff. I hate cat calling. I think it's, it inflates women's ego. And also, it doesn't lead to anything. It doesn't get you laid. But at the same time, this guy is threatening this guy. for even If he did cat call the woman, it's like... Look, if it's your daughter or if it's your wife or something, then I can understand you being upset. But mind your fucking business. But here it is. This is only a minute. My problem is you, motherfucker. Sir, he's just yeah. mentally ill. He's a punk. You think Dude, I give no one's talking camera? to you, bro. You think no I one's talking to you. No one's talking to you. Smiling. No one's talking to you. Look at you're a bitch. So the guy's wearing a um. Some sort of uh, tropical shirt. The guy who's threatening him. He, he's got like a sunrise t-shirt. But there's nothing sunny about this guy. He's just a simp cuck. No one was talking to you. And I'm talking You're to you, crazy. Bitch. You I'm are crazy. You. I was not talking to no away. one. I, I was not crazy. talking to that person. Yeah. I was talking you to nobody. You don't talk to women that way. Who? This who? Is me teaching who was I talking to? You punk who was I talking to? You pull your fucking phone out. Who was I talking to? And I'm talking to you. Who was I talking to? And I'm talking to you. You're crazy. So the guys follow him around the car. The guy recording is just pacing back in circles, trying to stay out of trouble recording this guy. You're going to go home tonight knowing you're a bitch. Okay. You're a bitch with your little phone. You want to talk like a man? Be a man. This is the police. Yeah. Be a man. This is the police. Be a man. I don't give a fuck. This is the police. I don't give a fuck. This is the police. You shouldn't tell women, hey, you want to fuck at a stoplight. Bro, That's, what you, did, back, That's what you did, punk. That's what you did. That's somebody's stop. mother you're talking to. Stop, That's why you're a fucking punk running away like a punk. <laughs> running away. Man, what the fuck you think I'm going So I don't know if the guy actually did it or not, but regardless of that... Um, it's like, calm down, dude. And this guy, I guarantee he never did that before in his earlier days. Go fuck yourself, cuppy. Uh, next one is anti maskers face shows him dying inside when, uh, R.Y. Rye the Dare guy put him in his place. So this is a guy wearing a Trump 2024 t-shirt, which makes him cool. And, uh, he's going to, he's in this guy's face. I guess he doesn't want to wear the mask. Yeah, he doesn't want to wear the mask. The guy who has a business is putting him in his place saying, hey, you don't even have a job, dude. I have a job at least. And, uh, the guy is, uh, just fucking trolling with his friends. So here it is. This is about 50 seconds. I feel like it's triggered because... Fuck off, you little bitch. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I'm not about to saw you and go to jail. I got shit to lose. I'm like, you. You're out here with no job. Just walking around with bird people, bitch ass. So the guy, uh, the guy, so he says to the guy, I have a job unlike you. I got shit to do. And they, they show a close-up on his face, and he doesn't look too defeated by it, but it did affect him a little bit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. So are you going to donate or are you going to sign a release order? A beta wearing a mask? Bro, then why don't you put me in my place? I'm talking to you like an alpha. This is like 200 years ago. I would love to see you. That's crazy, cuz. Now I just want to turn you on. I totally could, but you're not. You can't just fight people like on the street. You're a pussy. So in the comment section said this kid lost his job. I hope he didn't. I feel bad if he did. You know, it's like someone puts their camera in your face and they start heckling you. You call them a bitch or something, and then corporate's like, we gotta let you go. I hope that didn't happen, because that sucks, because corporate will fire you for the dumbest shit. It's like, they, you can't defend yourself at all. We live in such a one-sided cuck world. So the guy is a douchebag, but he's wearing a Trump 2024 t-shirt. Trump 2024! Trump 2000... All right, come on. And this last clip, it says a simple car accident leads to a damn shooting somewhere in Texas. It's a group of ghetto women. One ghetto woman hits another ghetto woman's car. And one of them pulls a, a gun out. And they start running. So, uh, yeah. 39 seconds. Here it is. Police <laughs> So there's a dent on the side of this blue car, 
And by the way, some of these uh, these these uh, these these black women have nice big butts. And I know you guys out there don't like the black women, but uh, I do. Not all of them, some of them, and uh, they look good. That's all I'm going to say. Unpopular opinion. Leave me alone. Someone in the comment section wrote, uh, usually where I'm from, we just need insurance, but this is definitely more exciting. Yeah, it is. Oh, jeez. And this woman gets... <laughs> she gets right out the car like the fucking ghetto Terminator. She's got a gun. As soon as they see it, uh, this black girl's carrying a weave. I thought she said, where's my keys? She's carrying a weave. Where's my weave? And this Tykesha, she's packed a little. Oh, oh. oh, shit. And she lets off a few rounds, and that was just coming from her butthole. And the Hispanic guy filming, even he dropped the camera. Even he got scared. Well, folks, this podcast should be shot in the head, but it keeps going. It's the first but yet worst comedy podcast in Philly. It's your favorite podcast show that most people will listen to. We got to wrap this shit up with some odd news. All right, we're going to wrap this uh, fiasco of a podcast up. Guys, don't forget, tomorrow night, if you listen to this before September 27th, 8.30 Eastern Time. Tales from the shit, folks. That's right. It's that time of the month. And I'm not talking about your mother's cunt period. I'm talking about another poop show. So tune in. You've been warned. All right. Uh, let's see what's going on with the odd news. Uh, Florida men crash car and then carjacked good Samaritans who stopped to help them. So for those of you out there who think you should help people straight on the road, leave them there. Doesn't matter if it's a hot chick, doesn't matter if it's a group of kids, because they will rob you. Garth Brooks is playing dive bars right at the stage because dive bars are vaccinated. Whoa. See, he's talking about a celebrity who's taking the, uh, the bait there, folks. Kyle Rittenhouse, is, uh, who, by the way, is a hero of mine, his mom reportedly received a standing ovation from the crowd at a Republican event in Wisconsin. Yeah, he's a hero. The kid fucking saved his city from those dirtbag BLM Antifa douchebags. Shut a motherfucker right in the stomach. Uh, Ukrainian's army decision to make female soldiers march in high heels sparks backlash. <laughs> the fucking Ukraine. Imagine these guys get drunk in a bar. I can't do the voice. I can't do it. You know, these bitches, the, 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 they should wear high heels. That's a terrible accent. I don't know what that is. Prison guards, but not mother, gets counseling as her baby dies in a cell. What is this, an episode of Oz or some shit? An alarm went off on SpaceX's all tourist space flight. The problem was the, the toilet. Bear spray and ventilation system forces evacuation. And uh, Williston Hotel. Yeah, bears always make news. Bears walk around uh, in the highway and they, they rape people and they... I don't know. Sham audit backfires in Arizona GAP. Biden, Biden won by a wider margin. Hey, listen. I don't believe that. Even if he did win Arizona, he didn't win Florida. Say that much. Grizzly Bear found dead in Canada was killed by a goat. See, we have nothing to talk about, folks, but bears. Paralympian jailed for gluing himself to a plane. Okay, there, evil kid, evil. Calm down there, buddy. Amid bus driver showed his Boston students ride party bus with stripper poles and yeah, lights on field trip. Yes, that is awesome. You take lemons and you you come on it. What, what, what is the expression? PVD schools admin known for toe tip in charge for rave, rubbing a stranger's foot. So we got another foot pervert on the loose, rubbing people's toes. Portugal grape pickers do it in the buff. What? What does that mean? They're saying butt, but they mean... A group of nudist enthusiasts do a vine leave it to cover there. Oh, who cares? Mom and daughter killed adult film actress with backyard butt implants, cops say. So they, did they... Wait, did they take butt implants and smack her in the head, or did they... 
Uh, a mom and daughter allegedly posed as plastic surgeons have been charged after a murder and inspiring at adult film actress. Her mom was 51 and she was 23. Lives in California. Yeah, all these white chicks are trying to get the fake butts so they can get the BBC. Gas station clerk murdered for asking a customer to wear a mask. Uh, can we see the race of the person, please? Just for, you know, just for uh, research. And a fatal shooting of a clerk. That's something else. They won't show it. Uh, an Oregon elementary school teacher grew up to school in showed up to school in blackface to protest a vaccine mandate. That's the Josh Cass news story of the day. The day. The day. Tesla driver arrested for allegedly using autopilot while drunk. Well, what's wrong with that? You can't use autopilot when drunk. Isn't that safe? As long as you're not, they say don't drink and drive. What the fuck, man? Men take vehicle with free car sign. Later, they found it. A body in the trunk. What? This car seat is uh, full of dead hookers. It's called back to norm. Well, listen, guys. That's it for the uh, odd news. I'm pretty sure there's some more stuff uh, going on. Two men, two dead after man jumps off building. So you jump off a building to kill yourself. You crush people. This podcast crushes people. Um, that's it for the show. I'll see you folks next week. You just listen to, and we're out of here. Go fuck yourself, Cuffy.